Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the forward converter design in LTSPICE. How you can design the forward converter in LTSPICE and how you can simulate the forward converter in LTSPICE. We will also understand the basics of the forward converter. Okay, so let us say you have given your design requirement that is 230 volt VRMS 50 Hertz and you want to design 12 volt at 12 ampere that means you, you want to design 144 watt power supply by using this forward converter let us try let us try designing this circuit by using the forward converter right so friends if you are new to this channel you can join the channel membership by clicking on the join button once you click on the join button you can see the different options here you can join the premium membership either you can join the mentorship here so once you sign in the mentorship you will get you will get exclusive access of the all the LTS spice file and you will also get the mentorship of your question your queries and you will also get the video consultation now let us understand the how you can design the forward converter in LTSPICE for this design requirement so guys this circuit i am trying to simulate very first time and i also don't know whether if, if if this circuit works correctly or it has some issue I, I frankly speaking i don't know i'm trying to create one forward converter i'm trying to simulate uh, the forward converter for this design requirement let us say how this circuit works okay so you can see here this is the this is the input voltage and you can see this is the sinusoidal signal with the amplitude of 320 325 volt peak and frequency is 50 kilo, kilohertz now you can see this four diodes connected this is the bridge rectifier okay so you can see i haven't chosen a specific any specific diode here this is a simple diode i copy and paste from here you can use you can use this diode as per your design requirement that means what is your what is your peak inverse voltage required what is your current required what is your power dissipation required okay what is the forward voltage drop required based on that you can select this diode d3 d4 d5 and d6 now you see here this is after the bridge rectification you since you know the output of this bridge rectifier is peak value so in order to get the pure dc this is uh, pulsating dc after the base in order to get the pure dc here i used one bulk capacitor you can see 47 micro and micro farad right now you can see this is the transformer here okay so the value for uh, l5 inductance value for l5 is 160 5 milli henry okay now you can see here this is the this is the mosfet and i'm driving mosfet here by this is the series resistance of the mosfet then we have source if you right click on the source you can see the on voltage is 18 volt i click kept delay is 1 millisecond rise time 20 fall time 20 6.25 is t on and 12.5 is your duty the total period okay now this is the primary winding and you can see this is the l5 is primary and l2 is secondary both since this is the forward converter you can see the dot polarity both are in the same phase uh, and then you can see this is d7 the rectifier diode okay d1 is the freewheeling diode then again this is low pass filter l1 and c low pass filter then r1 is r1 is one so you have seen in the flyback converter you don't need any additional winding here in the primary side so you can see here i have connected one no binding 
in parallel with L5 and MOSFET M1. You can see. So the reason because why I need additional winding in the forward converter. Additional. You can see if you compare this this design to the flyback, you can find three additional component here. Okay, which this is the three additional component which increase the cost, bomb cost. And if you talk about the flyback, you won't see the these three components. So L3, D2, and D1 is three additional are three additional components which we are using in the forward converter. Okay. So the reason why I used here L3 and D2 because since this is the forward converter, you can see here whatever energy is stored here in the primary winding L5 during the T on of this MOSFET at the same time. The, there is a flux linkage between primary and the secondary binding and this energy energy transferred from the primary winding to secondary winding during t on time itself okay so the guys if you remember the the difference between flyback and the forward so in the flyback the energy transferred from primary winding to secondary winding during t of time while in the forward converter you can see at the t on time whatever energy is stored in l5 is at the same time this energy is being transferred to l2 secondary binding okay now you can see this is the uh, this is the diode which converts ac signal to dc signal and this then l1 ac is low pass filter okay okay so what happens during t of time okay this is very important to understand due to the electromagnetic effect once this diode is off once there is a diode is off the energy stored in the primary winding will collapse okay energy stored in the primary winding will collapse and this if this energy will collapse the input signal along with the MOSFET signal will stress this MOSFET okay in order to avoid this coal collapsing of energy from primary winding we need additional winding l3 this is called the discharge winding okay discharge winding this is also called the discharge diode right so whatever energy is stored in this primary winding is being discharged to through this l3 and diode d2 that is why we need we need this this winding right l3 and d2 and why we need why we need d1 okay since this mosfet is off energy at the secondary winding d2 is is zero so this diode also will off at this at that point of time the energy stored in this inductor will this diode d1 will become the forward bias and energy stored in this inductor l1 will the current flow through this diode this diode d1 will conduct now this time during the t off of the period the current flow through through this diode to load okay so this is the basic operation of the fly uh, forward converter if you remember uh, with your theoretical class now let me run the simulation and show you the waveform okay so let me run the simulation right guys and let me tile window vertically here for the sake of time let me show you the input signal so this is your input signal guys it's quite running a bit slow but if you see here this is the peak of 325 if you see the local peak it is also a 325 peak okay now let me show you the the gate signal <coughs> so this is basically your gate signal right So let me try to measure the frequency of this gate signal how much it is and now you can see the frequency is around more or less 80 kilohertz right you can see 80 kilohertz let me show you the 
drain to source voltage how this looks like okay so you can see the drain to source voltage right let me show you the this voltage as well okay let me zoom it for you the bingo it's running very cool cool okay so this is your drain to source voltage and if you see here your voltage is in opposite polarity okay so this voltage whatever your drain to source voltage and you can see the voltage here it is in the opposite polarity now let me show you the output voltage let me show you the output signal right let me close it again and what i do is let me show you the output voltage and output current it's running guys okay you can see your output voltage is v this in the blue color and you can see the output current is in let me change the color in red color okay now you can see here if i if i pull the cursor here you can see your output voltage is 12.36 and your output current follow your output voltage your output current is also 12.5 so more or less you are meeting your design requirement whatever your design requirement was you can see you can there is a ripple some output ripple but at the same time you can see your 12 volt output here like 12.66 and you can see the current same current okay okay let me show you the inductor here how this looks like so this is also like that you have some ripple here okay okay so hope guys you have understood about how you can design the forward converter in LTSPI 